When you are trying to make your backswing, a lot of times we just get sort of stuck as far as positions go. You're either trying to make too much of a rotation. You're either trying to manipulate and place the hands. But you can and find what? your ideal, almost perfect backswing every time by not thinking about backswing positions, but about the through swing. Sounds strange, but it is remarkable. And the thing is, it's gonna really help you out on the golf course. Place the hands trying to hit the perfect positions, trying to hit the perfect spots. That's where repetition and consistency becomes almost impossible because it has to be about movement. It has to be about flow. Reversing the swing, in essence, is basically ensuring that our finish, our through swing, is where we want it to be with the intent, with the placement, and with the feels. And what we do, we sort of reverse engineer that because to get to those nice spots with balance, with poise, you have to have something good that happens all the way back. That's basically it I'm gonna show you. You're going to sort of mimic a little golf swing here and you're going to make a through swing. Doesn't mean we're gonna finish all the way. We're just gonna to get to this position here, this placement where we've got the body rotated through. We've got balance, okay? We've got the chest up to the sky, especially with uh, a driver. I mean, this applies to irons as well, don't get me wrong. Um, but we've got balance here. We've got poise. I've almost sort of pictured a perfect shot seeing it sail that way. And the, you know, the full finish is basically just uh, momentum in the arms sort of folding up to the top. But we don't need to worry about that. We are just gonna be about here. So the checkpoints we want to have are the feet and knees together. They don't have to be exactly together. It's just the feeling. Our hips are sort of rotated through. My belt buckle, my belly is through to the target. My chest is up to the sky. My hands haven't flipped over. I haven't chicken winged. I'm not over here because that's what happens. A lot of times you'll end up with a swing, something a little bit like that. So here's the feel. The arms are nicely close together. I can feel the weight of the club. I'm balanced. My head is up, but I've got this spine tilt. That's where I want to be. Why is this important? Because from here, all I'm going to do is reverse the swing and just let it go back. Because you'll notice that it just completes your swing as much as you need to without even thinking about it. The only objective I want you to have from here, okay, is just allow the club to drop and gather back. Don't worry about body movements or anything like that. It's almost let it happen how it wants to, okay? We're not trying to swing hard here. We're not trying to do anything dramatic. And we just practice and rehearse that feel to find your sort of neutral, natural, smooth backswing that isn't so focused on positions, okay? Try it. Even practice swinging when you're out on the golf course. Gather that mo movement, you know, really refine that through swing here. Then we gather back and we complete our swing. If you want to do that on the golf course, that's fine. But I would suggest you, you know, try this on the range first or at home right now. Just practice it at home. Okay. When you get on the golf course, be my guest to give it a bash. Have a couple of practice swings where it's like, okay, there's the shot I want to want. You know, how do I want this drive to go? I want a nice sort of low cut. I'm not going to try and hit it hard. So that's where I want to be there. Okay, there's my feeling, there's my backswing, and I repeat. Pretty easy, and then we try and execute it, okay? So I've, I've sort of enhanced the feel that I want through the ball, and I just try and repeat it. Nice, smooth drive. Was it exactly like my finished position? Eh, not so much. It's actually the first swing of the day, so I kind of cocked the wrist a little bit, but it was pretty good. So there we have it. If you liked it, I urge you to click the link below for a free lesson series that you can choose your golf journey. Depending on what you want to work on now, whether it's driving, irons, short game, senior swing, whatever, we've got a free series of lessons specific to you. 
your golf journey.